acids, bases and salts. To study the chemical properties of acids and bases, let us study the chemical properties of acids and bases. Acids Acids are sour to taste and they turn blue litmus red. Bases Bases are bitter and they turn red litmus blue. Now what is a litmus paper made of? Litmus are natural indicators. They confirm the test for acids and bases by change in their color. Similarly, there are synthetic indicators like phenolphthalein and methyl orange. These confirm the test for acid and bases by change in their color. There are other indicators called the olfactory indicators. Here, the order of the substance changes in acidic or basic media. Example is onion. Now how do acid and bases react with metals? Acids react with metals to form a compound called salt and hydrogen gas is evolved. Let us perform an experiment to study the reaction of acids with metals. Take a test tube. Add 5 ml of dilute sulfuric acid to the test tube. Add few pieces of zinc granules to it. Pass the gas being evolved through the soap solution. Take a burning candle near the gas filled bubble. The bubble bursts with a pop sound. Hence, this reaction can be written as follows. Zinc reacts with dilute sulfuric acid to form zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas is evolved. Reaction of base with metals. Let us now observe the reaction of base with metals. Take a test tube. Add 2 ml of sodium hydroxide solution. Add few granules of zinc and warm the contents of the tube. Pass the gas being evolved through a soap solution. Now, take a burning candle near a gas filled bubble. The bubble bursts with a pop sound. Hence, this reaction can be written as follows. Zinc reacts with sodium hydroxide solution to form sodium zincate and hydrogen gas is evolved. Let us now study the reaction of acids with metal carbonates and metal hydrogen carbonate by performing a simple experiment. Take two test tubes and label them as A and B respectively. Add 0.5 grams of sodium carbonate in test tube A. In test tube B, add 0.5 grams of sodium hydrogen carbonate. Add 2 ml of hydrochloric acid in both the test tubes. Now, observe the reaction taking place in both these test tubes. Pass the gas through lime water. You will observe that lime water turns milky. Let us derive the chemical equation taking place in test tube A. Sodium carbonate reacts with hydrochloric acid to form sodium chloride and water and carbon dioxide gas is evolved. Now, when carbon dioxide is passed through lime water, that is the solution of calcium hydroxide, the solution of calcium hydroxide 
turns milky. This is due to the formation of white precipitate of calcium carbonate. Now, let us derive the chemical equation taking place in test tube B. Sodium hydrogen carbonate reacts with hydrochloric acid to form sodium chloride and water and carbon dioxide gas is evolved. Now, when carbon dioxide is passed through lime water, that is the solution of calcium hydroxide, the solution of calcium hydroxide turns milky. This is due to the formation of a white precipitate of calcium carbonate. Thus, in short, we can infer that all metal carbonates and metal hydrogen carbonates react with acids to form the corresponding salts, water and carbon dioxide gas is evolved. Now, how do acids and bases react with each other? Remember, the effect of acid is nullified by the base and vice versa. Let us perform a simple experiment. Take 2 ml of dilute sodium hydroxide in a test tube. Add 2 drops of phenolphthalein indicator. Now, add dilute hydrochloric acid to the above test tube drop by drop. Observe that the pink color of the solution disappears. In the above activity, the effect of the base is nullified by the acid and vice versa. This reaction can be written as below. This reaction between acid and base to give salt and water is called neutralization reaction. Now let us study the reaction of metallic oxides with acids. Take small amount of copper oxide in a beaker. Add dilute hydrochloric acid slowly while stirring. You will notice that the color of the solution becomes blue-green and copper oxide dissolves. This blue-green color of the solution is due to formation of copper 2 chloride. The general reaction between metal oxide and an acid can be written as metal oxide plus acid gives salt and water. What happens to acids or bases in a water solution? Let us find out through this experiment. Take sodium chloride in a clean, dry test tube. Add few milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid to the test tube. Observe the gas coming out of the test tube. Now, take a wet blue litmus paper close to the other end of the delivery tube. The color of the wet litmus changes to red. With this experiment, we can infer that hydrogen ions in HCl are produced in presence of water. Remember, separation of hydrogen ions from the HCl molecule cannot occur in the absence of water. Hydrogen ions cannot exist alone, but they exist after combining with water molecule. Thus, hydrogen ion must always be shown as hydronium ion or hydrogen ion in water. 
when a base is dissolved in water it generates hydroxide ions bases which are soluble in water are called alkali the process of dissolving acid or base in water is highly exothermic reaction mixing of acid or base with water results in decrease in concentration of the hydrogen or hydroxide ions per unit volume such a process is called dilution how can we find out how strong our acid or base solution a scale for measuring the concentration of hydrogen ion has been developed it is called the ph scale p stands for potence in german which means power on the ph scale ph value can be measured from 0 to 14 Zero is very acidic. Fourteen is very alkaline. Seven is said to be neutral. Values that are less than seven on the pH scale represent an acidic solution. As pH value increases from seven to fourteen, the number of hydroxide ion concentration. increases this indicates the increase in strength of alkali now what is the importance of ph in our everyday life our body functions within a range of ph 7 to 7.8 pH of rainwater less than 5.6 is called acidic rain in such situation the survival of aquatic life becomes difficult antacids reduce the hydrochloric acid produced in our stomach by neutralizing the acid milk of magnesia or magnesium hydroxide is a mild base used as an antacid Tooth enamel is made up of calcium phosphate. Calcium phosphate is the hardest substance in the body. It does not dissolve in water. However, it gets corroded when pH is less than 5.5. Tooth enamel decay starts when the mouth pH is less than 5.5. Hence, It is always advisable to brush your teeth after eating. Take a look at some of the naturally occurring acids. Acetic acid is present in vinegar. Citric acid in orange. Tartaric acid in tamarind. Oxalic acid in tomato. Lactic acid in curd. Methionic acid in ant sting. Methionic acid is also present in nettle sting. That is all in this topic. We shall study the use of sodium chloride to make different substances widely used in industries and in households and pH of salts.